but I wanted to ask you about something else that also draws the ire of regulators, and that is leveraged products. Do you think that it's right to be offering leveraged Bitcoin products, Binance products, considering that the impact that it can have for people that do not understand how to use these products? Yeah, so uh, we, uh, there's, a couple, there's two things. We only offer the leverage products in places where it's allowed. So in many places where the regulations clearly state that it's not allowed, then we, we block that. We, don't, we do not offer that. Uh, second, um, I think Binance uh, is probably the only exchange that have a responsible trading program. Um, so when the users want to use a leverage product, we actually ask them to, uh, out of many other things, ask them to be- very blunt questions. Uh, do you think there's a f- more than 50% chance that you, can, uh, you, uh, you will make money? If they say yes, we don't allow them to use the product. So they actually have to explicit, explicitly say that they understand there's more than 50% chance they, will, they may lose money. Number two is when they lose money, is it their fault or is it somebody else's fault? Um, so if they don't answer those questions correctly, we don't, uh, we don't let them use those leverage products. Uh, also, when they first start use, to use a leverage product, if they lose money, we actually prevent them from trading for, uh, for certain periods of time. So I think we, Binance is the only crypto exchange that have this type of uh, uh, responsible trading program. CZ, when, how long do you think the current down cycle in crypto is going to last for? Uh, that I cannot predict very, uh, that I don't know, <laughs> and no one really knows. Um, historically, if you look at the charts, each, uh, each cycle is about four years. Um, 2013 was an all-time high, 2017. 2021 uh, came pretty, cl- um, well, so uh, 20, end of 2021, maybe one. Um, we're still not sure yet, but um, um, just because history is like that doesn't mean the future is like that. Um, so I don't really know. But in term, just getting back to what we're talking about on leverage, you can gamify the answering of the questions. You can look on Reddit and you can see the answers to every question for every trading service. If you wanted to trade options, if you wanted to trade derivatives, if you wanted to trade on leverage products. So why not just take a stand and say, you know what, we know that more likely than not, people are going to lose on these leveraged products. It's going to allow for better price discovery anyway when you're talking about cryptocurrencies, more stability. And then you don't draw the eye of the regulators at the same time. Wouldn't that be the better way? Uh, I, I don't think so. Um, a leverage product exists in regulated markets, in traditional financial markets. Um, they are used for specific purposes to provide liquidity, price discovery, and provide um, uh, hedging. So uh, for traditional, um, uh, th- there are miners uh, in, in crypto that want to le- use this leverage to hedge against uh, price fl- fluctuations. Um, there are, of course, many speculators as well, um, just as they are in traditional stock or st- traditional futures markets. So it is a, a, val- it, it is a proven financial tool that is available to, uh, in financial markets. So um, I don't think just having that uh, is a problem.